Hey everybody, here we are in my arena, and as you guys can see, I have a brand new WWE figure haul here today for you guys. I'm really excited. I got a package in today from walkoutwear.com, where you can use discount code ELITE, by the way, to save 16% off. But uh, we're going to talk about what I got here today, and... I'm so excited. I got the complete set of Elite 55, got some new basics, and I also got the Elite 54 Charlotte. So I would say without any further ado, we get into the figures that I got here today. And we're going to start off with this basic 78 AJ Styles. And I think this is a really good figure, actually. It's too bad, like, what happened to the basics, but... Otherwise, it's a really good figure. We had the same figure before as the um, exclusive. It was an exclusive figure for a WrestleMania 33 store, I think. And then a WWE shop did get it in as well. And Ringside Collectibles did get it in as well. And, and now we got a re-release using the a new body, the new basic body mold and, and stuff like that. So basically what's new, it doesn't have the articulation here and it has the new arm molds. Obviously you can't swap arms anymore. You guys can kind of see the new articulation. This is a figure I probably will not use in my pig fed or whatever. But um, I think it's a really cool display piece. It doesn't... The thing about the new basics is that the articulation might not be that good. But if you just decide to put them on display... They actually don't look bad at all. I think, like, looking at this AJ like this, it's really not a bad figure at all. So, yeah, I'm excited to finally have the red attire for AJ. So, I'm probably going to keep it like that. An elite custom of this attire would be really sick as well. And uh, speaking of AJ Styles, have you seen my last video? Uh, after that, we did put up the poll on Instagram. And it was, like, the closest thing ever. Um, it was 50-50 and we had about um, 800 views, uh, uh, 800 uh, votes I think, so that was pretty incredible, like both got around 400 votes after 24 hours, so Wrestlemania 33 AJ and the um, Money in the Bank AJ custom kind of got around the same view uh, votes, so... And there you go. Thank you all for voting on that. It was really fun. Um, I would say next off we get into Elite 55. And in Elite 55 the flashback of this set is The Undertaker. Uh, Bill from Mattel said this was a last minute replacement for some figure that got removed from the lineup. It's pretty close to Elite 18. So a lot of people don't have Elite 18. I think I still have Elite 18 so... Um, still a cool figure, comes with the shirt, the bandana, comes with the undisputed title. Obviously the figure, the attire is a little bit different. Uh, probably uh, the figure I was least looking forward to from Elite 55. Just because it's a flashback and I'm not too big of a flashback collector. But still, it's a really good figure. And obviously I do have Elite 18 as well, so... Yeah, but it's a really, really good looking figure, especially if you're like into flashbacks and all that sort of stuff and missed out on the Elite uh, 18 Undertaker. This is a great figure to pick up for sure. And then we have another basic, and this is uh, Shane McMahon's uh, basic figure from Basic 78. And this is based on the Survivor Series attire from last year, so... Uh, team Smackdown was Team Raw, really, really great match. You probably remember the spot uh, where Shane went for the coast to coast, got speared by Reigns. I think he got injured by that, uh, was kind of out of it. But yeah, that was actually like a really good match. This year's Survivor Series match actually wasn't all that great in my opinion. But the one from last year was one of my favorite matches in history. It was really that damn good. Obviously Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton did survive in that one. I think I thought that was like laid out so well, the, the match from last year. And this year's match was like, especially like the last five minutes was a disaster, I thought. But 
Yeah, uh, Shane McMahon from last year's Survivor Series, really cool attire. Uh, the articulation isn't like too much different from the Elite. The Elite kind of felt like having the same arm articulation and stuff. Uh, the the um, legs are a little bit different, but uh, for Shane McMahon, I think this is definitely a basic that you could pick up if you don't have the Elite. I don't know really uh, what the Elite is going for at the moment, if it's expensive and stuff, but I think it's a good option if you cannot get the Elite, so yeah, and, or if you like want to collect like the different Shane Omega tires, uh, definitely a nice figure to pick up, Basic 78 Shane McMahon, and then also in the set, we, or not in that set, but we got a, a Brock Lesnar from Elite 55, comes with the Universal title. And my favorite Lesnar lead is still the 21 and 1 uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Um, this one comes with a um, hat or beanie and then the Suplex City shirt. And obviously the Universal Championship attire is pretty much the same. I really wish they would do like a Lesnar in like molded, um, how do you call it, jogging pants or whatever. And that would be something different, but otherwise they can't really do different stuff with, with a Lesnar because he always wears the same. So, And I think they always want to get him in the line every once in a while just because uh, he's obviously one of WWE's biggest draws. So I would assume he sells a lot of figures. Maybe he isn't too popular to us collectors anymore because we got so many Lesnars, but there are definitely a lot of kids out there and stuff that uh, will ask their parents to buy them a Brock Lesnar, so it's kind of understandable. We got a uh, Braun Strowman's uh, basic, and a really cool thing about that is actually uh, FWE Universe pointed that out to me, is that uh, the Elite head skin doesn't have that, and the other basic head skin doesn't have that. They added this little, if I would know the English ver word for that. Um, Thing for the ponytail, um, they added that in. It's like a little ribbon or, th or something that holds his hair. I don't really know how you call it in English right now, but um, yeah, that Strowman is pretty cool for the head skin. I might swap this head skin onto my Elite Custom um, that I have. And yeah, otherwise, the attire is pretty much actually the same as I have on my Elite Custom Strowman. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the figures. It's alright. Like I said, the head scan really um, makes it more special uh, compared to the other versions. But yeah, Strowman from Basic 78, um, like I said, might do a head swap on that. Then we have a big cast. And I think this is the WrestleMania attire, a WrestleMania 33 from the ladder match. and. I was really wanting this attire because it's red and it's like a little bit different. Uh, I don't have the Elite 49 cast, I have an Elite Custom cast because I think this torso is way too ripped for cast, but uh, yeah, the new head scan, um, it's alright, but I think the first head scan is a little bit better, especially like if you're using him like in a pig fed or your stop motion or whatever, him having this look on his face all the time can like be kind of creepy, can be kind of weird, but uh, yeah, I think actually if you like want to put it on display like for different uh, big cast facial expression, it's, it's, it's looking good, but if you like want to use it, like I said, it, it can become weird. Uh, the Shane is a cool accessory. He also came with like a plastic shirts that I don't have here right now because those are awful like I hate those uh, They don't sit on the figure at all and he comes with this brand new uh, microphone mold, which is awesome. I think so And yeah, uh, obviously ends on cast already uh, broke up But yeah, it's probably the last elite That we get of them like as their tag team run big cast now obviously injured so um, probably not getting any new figures anytime soon. We got Enzo Amore from Elite 55. And I think this figure turned out insanely good. Now the thing is the Elite 49 Enzo was already really good. 
and they really nailed Enzo again. There's like guys that they are really good at making and I think Enzo Moore is definitely one of them. A uh, head scan is awesome. It's different to Elite uh, 49, but it's an awesome head scan. Comes with this awesome jacket. I really like that as an accessory for Enzo. Uh, has the new microphone as well. And all the chains and like the attire is really, really nice. The white attire. I think it's like the Toys R Us basic that came out just as an Elite. The Elite obviously a lot better. Uh, zero dimes on there. Like Enzo, really, really sick figure. Um, I don't really know which one I would prefer if to uh, Elite 49 or Elite 55. Right now, I would probably say Elite 55, but that might be because I just got the figure and it's pretty new to me, so uh, that always gets some extra points for some reason. But yeah, uh, next off, we have Elite 55, first time in the line, James Ellsworth. And just around when his figure came out, he obviously got released from the company, which is a shame, I guess, but it wasn't like um, Ellsworth was too great on television anymore anyways. Um, but it's cool to have a figure of him. I think it's, are those the right legs that I got? Or because there are um, some James Ellsworth elites that have uh, legs that are way too big, and I think Actually, mine look alright, so this might be the fixed version that I got. There will be two different versions of Ellsworth, like one with bigger legs and one with uh, smaller legs that are more accurate. Obviously, they made a brand new torso for James Ellsworth, which makes me question why they can't like make a new torso for AJ Styles or even just use the uh, reuse the Sin Cara torso. Because a guy like Ellsworth, this is going to be his only elite. And they just made this torso for this one release. Like I think, like for a guy like AJ Styles making a unique torso, they are obviously going to make a lot of elites of him. It would really be worth it, in my opinion. But it is just like an idea I had. A head skin is really good, in my opinion. Love this. Uh, it's like they probably did as good of a job as they could have uh, done on Ailsworth, honestly. There's like nothing really all that bad. I think he could be like a little bit shorter. If you like put him here next to to my boy AJ, like, I'm not sure if he's taller than AJ than in real life, but I'm pretty sure he's not. So yeah, the figure's a little bit taller as you guys can see. But it just looks awesome. I like, I really, really like it a lot. So. Uh, James Ellsworth, I'm from Elite 55. Then from Elite 54, uh, we got Charlotte Flair. And you guys know I'm really not into the women figures all that much. But this thing is a thing of beauty, honestly. This is uh, Mattel's best female figure ever. I would definitely say that and uh, let me know if you think the same but i think this is like the best they ever did a uh, head scan is like they finally nailed charlotte's head scan like all the other ones were awful in my opinion that they did but this elite 54 charlotte one is awesome a uh, walk where recently did run a sale on it and you could get it for like 19 shipped if you used my discount code I think the deal is over already, but some people took advantage of that. I posted about it on my Instagram, so if you want updates and stuff, I always post a lot on my Instagram as well. Check that out. Like sometimes um, I let you guys know about new great deals at Walk Away and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm actually um, still expecting to get the rest of Elite 54 soon, but uh, stocks were pretty short at Walk Away, I heard, so I'll get them. Uh, pretty soon though. So yeah, Charlotte really really awesome and uh, like like the whole rope they made for this is just incredible. I think it was supposed to come as in defining moments, but obviously that got scrapped. So they just used the figure and put it in the elite line. Uh, this is like what I think because obviously there was like that rumor or there was like it was actually planned that they will release in Charlotte Flair defining moments figure, but it they did up, uh, did end up not doing it. So I think it was supposed to be this. So this is just awesome. If you 
uh, one is Charlotte. This one is the one to get. It is awesome if you're not into women figures at all. Uh, I understand that. But, yeah, this would actually be... If I would need to pick one women figure out there, this would be it. Charlotte Flair. Freaking great figure. And also, which I was really surprised about that I got it, is the Elite 55 Neville. Because he was like sold out really early on walkaway so I didn't really expect to get him and that quick but apparently they saved me one so that is pretty awesome I really do appreciate that a lot and we got the Neville figure and I think the head skin is really incredible they did like an incredible job on the head skin looks just like Neville uh, I don't know what's going on with Neville right now some people say he's coming back I heard like He's definitely gone from Dave Meltzer and, and stuff. So I didn't really hear anything from Meltzer saying that he would be back now. But uh, some people are reporting it uh, apparently. So we got to see what's up with that. I think this is the WrestleMania attire. I could be wrong. But I think it's awesome. The gold attire looks really, really damn good. Like actually an all around perfect figure like there's nothing that I would change about it honestly and yeah it's great to have a Neville from probably his best run of his career another cruiserweight championship now I have two I mean they're really uh, making a lot of the cruiserweight championships where you also got one with the elite rich swan the TJ Perkins obviously but yeah Neville I would definitely recommend uh, you guys to get that figure. I think he's gone from Walkover already because um, a lot of people obviously wanted that. It was probably the most anticipated figure from the set. So it is sold out already. But I think the rest you can still get on Walkover from Elite 55. Charlotte obviously still in stock as well. Uh, they restocked a bunch of Elite 54. Uh, Basic 78 and Italian Owens are also in so uh, just check them out I put the link in the description below I really want to thank uh, Walk Aware for sending me all this really appreciate it I hope you guys did enjoy the video pretty long one actually um, but yeah there was some stuff to talk about here on all the figures so I hope you did enjoy the video if you did leave me a like we'll be back pretty soon with the new custom figure review and yeah guys, have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one.